morning and welcome back to another weekend vlog this time this is going to be a weekend vlog it's saturday i don't know what the date is right now but i will leave it below i know quite at the moment it's quite interesting to see because i think my my vlogs are going out a few days later so a lot's changing in a short amount of time at the moment but i've just finished the week vlog and i woke up with a really bad headache this morning we set our alarms for 6 30 to go for a long walk at the common but I worked with a really bad headache and I dreamt that I had a headache as well. But um, I stayed in bed for a bit longer. It's now about 8.30, I think. I'm showered and I feel a lot better. I've just checked my starter. I'm doing a video on my sourdough starter. I'm really excited. It's going really well. So that video could have gone up by now. I'm going to take it to... I don't think it will have yet, actually. Actually, um, I want to take it through the whole process before I bake with it and I'm going to do it all in one video so you can actually see it day by day but I'm really really excited but the weekend vlog there's going to be lots of um, work this weekend it's definitely going to be a work weekend um, the weather's really nice at the moment I'd love to get out for a long walk I didn't manage to get out for any decent walks this week um, apart from just road walks with the dog but it's been so sunny and I've really missed going out so I would really really like to get out um but that's about it i hope everything's going well with you let me know have you tried any new recipes or anything like that i've got to cut back on the baking i keep baking and um i'd lost a little bit of weight when all this started and now i've just gained it all so i need to curb the baking i've just had a delivery i decided usually with my birthday and christmas money it all goes in the florida fund however i've decided to treat myself with my money this month or this year it's a mickey mouse on the box let's have a look what's inside oh it's another cute box i've got a worry that this is going to end up being smaller than i expected i did get the ruler out to measure it Ooh. Oh, box is so cute i want to color it in um basically i have a casserole dish well it's like a slow cooker dish but it can go on the hob and on the slow cooker stand that my mum gave me about 17 years ago one of the handles has fallen off and i'm still using it i've never had a decent cast iron i can't open this um casserole dish and one of the girls in my Life with Lisa chat group, it is quite small, um, put a link to the Disney one. I'd seen the Disney one, but it was very expensive. Oh, it's not too bad. That's ideal for our size. You get lots of meat. It's 180 quid, but it was on offer for 126. And I had 120 pounds for my birthday. I like that. It's got a Mickey on it. Look. Having a look, there's a mark on the handle. Oh no, it's fine. No, it's rubbed off. It's fine. Yeah, it's quite small for what it is. I think if you're a large family, you definitely couldn't manage. But, but it's the two of us. Aid and I, Louis doesn't eat anything that I cook in this kind of thing. Holly's vegan, although I do do some kind of thing, but I'd imagine it's going to be mostly kind of. Uh, mind you saying that Holly doesn't eat a lot of what we eat anyway does she even, <laughs> even when I cook the vegan stuff she doesn't eat it like my chilies and anything no. like that so um I'm really pleased with that I like that I thought so if we just do a lot of beef casserole it? and it matches our other Disney stuff mm, doesn't that's it that's going to go on top isn't it yeah it's it's iron <laughs> so it's not going to break but it can go in the oven as well and on the top but yeah it's going to live on top of the on um on display I like that do you like it I don't, I want to keep the box as well though. That's a cute box. That is such a cute box. I'm pleased with that. Happy birthday to me. I think the mums will be pleased as well. Yeah. Did you tell my mum? No, no. It's half past three and I've been working on the sofa this afternoon. I'll show you in a moment. Jacket potatoes have just gone in the oven and I want to tell you about a new class. Actually, I've probably already told you about the new class, but I've just launched that today, which I'm really, really excited about. Anyway, this is what I'm working on. I am cutting up the strips for the kit. I've got tea, I've got eczema cream, and I've got the cake that I made yesterday as well. Poppy's just come in from a visit to the garden. And we are watching Danny's vlog as well. It's a cruise vlog. Morning, it's Sunday, 10 o'clock. 
clocks have changed i was really happy i thought it was nine o'clock i thought i had extra time it's just made coffee so we are going to watch adam the woo whilst drinking coffee um i have had a good tidy up in holly's room this morning and i've also been editing tonight's video as well today i've got loads of video editing to do um i need to get tonight's video up Aid's about to take Louis to Waitrose to work and also do our weekly shop, which is just a tiny bit. I think that's the really good thing because we've always been well stocked. We never have a huge weekly shopping bill. It's normally just about £30 or so. We just kind of like top up all the time by the fresh stuff and that. Um, so we don't really spend much on our weekly shopping. Um, he's also popping his parents shopping around. It's their wedding anniversary today as well. So he's got a card to take round and obviously leave on the doorstep and all that kind of thing. I want to get some cleaning done today as well, but today's going to be pretty non-eventful. We got so much kit work done last night. Aid's trying to work on a new blog for me, to set up a new blog. I want a life with Lisa, Lisa blog. I've been wanting to sort it for ages. So hopefully he's gonna get that sorted today. Let's talk shopping. How has your weekly shopping changed since all of this has been going on? We are now doing two shops a week. We are changing it to a Sunday and a Tuesday. Basically, Aid's taken Louis to Waitrose anyway. So we figured that when he takes uh, Louis, that's when he would do his shopping. He's also doing his parents shopping. So they are giving us their lists. As you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know that we are well stocked anyway and always have been. My videos from way, way back. I'm not talking the last few weeks. Um, I've always kept a really good stock in my larder and my cupboards. So when it comes to weekly shopping, it's mostly fresh stuff and it's just a few bits and pieces to top up. I never go out and do huge, great big shops. So this is working okay for us. Um, Aid's going out and doing the shopping on his own. I'm not gonna go into Waitrose with him. And then I'm doing my post drops Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays now. And again, I'm gonna go out and do those on my own. There's a little convenience store there as well. I'm using a new post office now as it's got a little store with it. And so if we did need to pick any, anything up last minute, like the other day, Aid's mum wanted some bread. We were able, I was able to pick up some bread in there. So that's how we have changed our shopping. We're not going out regular. We're not doing big shops. I'm not going to Lidl like I used to. As you know, we used to pick Holly up from the train station when she had come home from uni at the weekends and I would do um, a good fresh shop then. I'm not doing anything like that now. Two little shops a week, that's what we're doing. I'll show you what he's bought back. So we're running down low on ketchup. So he's got ketchups. The anti-back's actually for a friend. So I'm gonna leave that on her doorstep. Fresh this week, all I need is grapes, mushrooms, bananas, and he's picked up some grapefruits, um, strawberries and blueberries. We're actually doing okay for fresh. Got sausages, we're doing, um, I want to do a soup we're using sausages and orzo this week we've got cheese he's picked up some mattresses some bin liners i said the other day i really fancied seriously strong cheddar and he must have remembered and picked me up some we've got some eggs as i've been baking loads and some french onion soup oh and he's picked up nivea and some crisps for louis louis likes a bag of crisps at lunchtime that's our little shop. And like I said, he picked up his parents as well and dropped it around to them. I am going to be making another bread pudding. I made one of these last week and it was so, so good. I want to give some to Aid's parents as well. And I'm gonna be making a slightly different variation this time. I'm gonna use the same recipe or base it on the same recipe. But I've got hot cross buns that are out to date. These were out to date a week ago. So I can use those up. I've got some French bread that I baked in the oven that could be used up. And I've also got half a loaf of best of both that needs using up as well. Could even be that I make up one and a half quantities of the recipe and actually take some over to friends. I also want to try and make a chocolate orange version. So I'm gonna use, I've got sultanas and raisins and that in those and the hot cross buns but i'm going to chop up some chocolate and i'm going to grate in an orange and add some orange juice and just see how that goes have a little bit of fun with this recipe so i have grated some of the orange it hasn't grated that well though so there's not huge amounts of orange zest but i have squeezed in the juice of an orange so i've got a lot more liquid than i had last time so i am actually going to add um 
a little bit of bread I think a little bit more bread because it's very liquidy this mixture compared to how it was last time I'm also going to chop up some chocolate I've got some milk chocolate a little bit of dark chocolate these are just bits left in the cupboard and I've got some chocolate orange that I'm going to chop up to go inside as well I didn't realize AIDS actually got currants instead of sultana so um, it says 400 grams of mixed fruit um, I've only done 100 grams of the currants. We've got the obviously mixed fruit from the hot cross buns and I'm also adding in the chocolate as well. So I'm gonna fold all this in and pop it into my pan, ready to bake. We're just having brunch. I've got grilled tomatoes, scrambled egg and mushrooms. And Aid's got two dippy eggs. This bread pudding smells so good. Just sprinkled some sugar over the top i've just picked up my camera i don't know if you can tell it's actually snowing it's today is the 30th of march monday morning and we have snow how weird is that um morning by the way got my coffee it's um 10 to 10 i haven't actually picked up the camera um i've just got up early and been working to be honest with you i've been really busy i've got a really big list in front of me i want to plow through it as quickly as possible i've got up in a really really good mood we had water poppy last night and then we had cheese and bread in bed last night at half past nine it was really nice and we watched race across the world and it felt really really cozy but i've woken up in a really good mood i've done all my cleaning this morning and um just feel really really good aids bought me in coffee i was also drinking my i tried to do this in the morning now drink it i thought i'd spilt some then um hot water and lemon so i've had some of that as well and i need to lay off the baking this week i went a bit baked crazy last week i baked two lots of bread pudding i've baked a batch of peanut butter cookies um cheesy bread and the lemon and blueberry none of which louis has touched wouldn't even try most of it um but we have been gifting some to friends and aids family and all that but to be honest the most of it we've been eating so that's not so good but i am currently working i've got one screen um, i had an idea for a kit paper for june so i'm working on that right now um because i didn't want to forget about it and I'm also just working. I had an idea. I woke up this morning and had an idea of something I wanted to do in the this kit, the April kit. Just something I want to add to something I've made. I want there to be loads of little secrets in this kit. It's called Secret Garden. And I want there to be loads of little surprises. And I just feel this one, because of everything going on, I want it to be extra, extra special. I want it to really, really have that handmade element. So you just feel that... I have made it for you. It's been made with loads of love, loads of little handmade touches. And um, I just want you to feel really special and really loved when you open that kit this month. So it's an extra special one. So I've got extra ideas. I can't wait to get in the lounge and start making them. Um, I feel really excited about this kit actually. It feels like a proper from me kit. So um, I really hope you're excited about it as well. I'm having one of those days where I feel like I'm flitting. It's now quarter past 11 and I'm kind of here, there and everywhere. Um, I've just cancelled some stuff with Royal Mail last week. I got to the post office and I was in the queue. It was a new post office and I didn't know how their system worked. I usually can just drop off my mail. And the um, postman came and went and I handed my stuff in after. So I had to take it home and then go back the following day. So um, nothing's ever straightforward with the Royal Mail with regards to the business account. And um, it's a bit of a palaver. Anyway, I finally called up and sorted that today. And then I've just paid some bills. And I don't know, it's just, you know, when you're sort of like here, there and everywhere. Um, and then I've just taken the dryer stuff out, folded that, put another load in. And I don't know, I just seem to be here, there and everywhere. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go and grab a can of Pepsi. But I've, um, I want a rainbow in the window like everyone else. And in the January kit, I made these postcards and it said, keep going. It just feels so relevant right now. So keep going, everyone. You're doing really, really well. You're doing amazing. And I'm gonna go and put this in my front room window. So I'm gonna work in the lounge now. I've been wanting to go into the lounge all day and work. I always feel really chilled in there. I must remember to blow this candle out actually in here first. But I've been sorting loads of things out. I'm really pleased. I've actually edited tomorrow's video and that's uploading because yesterday it took like eight hours to upload the video. It's forever. Um, I was gonna show you what I'm gonna make. So I had this idea this morning 
and I've got these tiny weeny little bags and I'm adding a little flower with a splodge of paint and I'm going to add Seek Beauty every day and I'm going to add those to the cake, uh, kits and it's got little flowers inside for you to craft with. So I'm going to go and work on those. I've just um, printed all the little labels off. I've got all the papers to uh, punch out the flowers and I think I'm going to go and watch Sister Wives while I do that. I'm just making a cup of tea. I'm so bad at doing things like this and then I go off, do other things and I forget about them. It's a bit stewed. So I'm cutting all this fabric for the kits at the moment and they're being folded down to go in the treat bags. I've already done all of those. Really, really good idea for a couple of projects. So I will be sharing those on this channel very soon. Aid's very happy. Oh, it's a loud one. Sorry. He's just had Prime Now, Amazon Prime Now delivery. We have milk. We're trying to order as much online so we don't have to go out to the stores. We are limiting ourselves to going out to the stores once a week. What else did you get? He's very excited about this. Yeah, we're just doing, trying to do a shop once a week now for fresh bits that we can't get online. Show them what else you got. You're very happy about this. Is it in there? That's a big bottle. What, have you, what else have you ordered? Oh, grenadine for a product key. All the important stuff. That's a really big bottle. How much was that? Four pounds. Oh, four pounds. That's good. Should we have um, tequila sunrise tonight while yeah, we exactly. watch? We've got some Pe Pepsi Cherry Max. Pepsi Cherry Max. He loves his Amazon Prime. Sorry, it's. Um, what else have you got? Another one. Another one. I don't want to put the bags on the side. Though. Thank you. Actually, the bags are probably best kept in the hallway babe because then I can mop through there self-raising flour oh they're in the nice containers my mum used to have those oh that's expensive self-raising flour, self -raising flour. What? what yeah no it's I think it's 54p from Lidl yeah I know but I know but we can't get any from there and I don't I don't want to go to oh that's so loud I don't want to go to Lidl either yeah let's keep all the delivery stuff in the hallway babes because okay. I can easily mop through We've there we've got um Pepsi i will explain you've got the Pepsi Cherry Max because you drink it like a fish. I, I never drink Pepsi Cherry Max. No, Pepsi Max in here. I don't like it. I've um, been having one Pepsi Max a day. I've no, improved. The reason the Pepsi, we are sitting in the supermarket, but there's a minimum £15 order. Oh, you're making up the order. So, for example, like we bought the milk, which was over a pound, and obviously the flour was a pound each. Did you get your mum's milk? Uh, no, because I ordered this before she asked. Oh, okay. Thank you for your input on my video I'll leave them here. okay and i'll also add that he only ordered that this morning as well so it's come really really fast 20 to 7 and i finished those jobs i was wanting to do i've cut all the fabric for the kits and i've been cutting out all those little um printable wordy things that i'd been that i printed earlier on so they're all done i've got sweet potatoes in the oven and i'm doing chicken for heaters for tea chicken for the boys i think i'm just gonna have veggie ones i've got some um cauliflower and some broccoli and all that i'm going to roast off with the sweet potatoes so i'm making chicken fajitas i've made these on here before it's onion garlic i've ground cumin seeds and coriander seeds and added some of this seasoning salt and pepper and then onions and chicken peppers i'm mixing oh and some half tin of tomatoes Louis has asked for chicken with tinned tomatoes and I've got a tray of roasted veg in the oven as well and Aid's grating the cheese and more importantly he's made tequila sunrises and there's tonight's dinner I've done a little salad I've got the sweet potatoes and I've also got in my wraps the sweet potatoes with roasted broccoli as well and the onions and peppers in the barbecue sauce I haven't got chicken on mine morning it is tuesday and it's mid-morning already i've been super busy this morning i'd cleaned two bathrooms by the time it's about eight o'clock and i've been um doing loads of admin all that kind of thing i'm getting my orders packed up because i want to do a post drop today i am now doing only three post drops a week i'm just trying to stay home as much as possible and we have decided just to do one grocery shop a week as well although it takes louis to waitrose twice a week to go to work anyway but we've decided just to get out the once he's doing the grocery shop for himself and his parents on one of the runs and i'm just 
popping into the post office I don't even have to speak to anyone I have my post in bags and I can just go and drop it off so that's quite nice I don't have to see speak or touch anybody which is amazing it's beautiful and sunny today I haven't actually been out for a walk since we've had all this lovely weather um, we've been doing late night walks finding it a bit nicer actually because you don't see anybody we did do like a five o'clock walk the other day and there was lots of like not lots maybe two or three times we had to like stand back on a grass verge to let people pass and it made me feel really anxious so I'm preferring the late night walks where there's no cars no people it's much nicer um but I do need to get some sunshine I think um I am just packing up a box for my niece she's 11 and you may have seen previous videos where uh, I've been helping out with a little bit of homeschooling for Millie and I've been going through all my stuff and I want to do some, I've been making lists of the homeschooling things that I would like to do with Millie and I know she doesn't have a lot of craft stuff at home. So I've been going through to see what I can find. I've got a pom-pom maker, one that I picked up in Poundland. I've also got some of the Molly Makes kits um, that come with the magazine, which I don't do. So I'm going to pass them on to Millie. There's one here, which again is a small pom-pom kit to make a watermelon pom-pom. Um, this I bought at Christmas so she could make a pom-pom wreath. So I need to put some wool in the box. I've got a whole load of craft stuff in here. Bits and pieces left over from my kit. Um, I, uh, I've got some little pouches together. Some washi tape. And I've also got other bits and pieces that we've got at home. Like little picture frame things. Um, what she can do and I'm going to go through my other Molly Makes magazines as well because I think they will be really really fun for her to do. I have found all of this. I just went under my desk. Every time a Molly Makes magazine comes through I just slide it under my desk. Um, I've been advertising with them for a long time. I've recently decided to stop however but every month I get a magazine and I've got all of these and I just started randomly opening them. I haven't even opened them. There's some really cool DIY things in here. Oh my goodness. Millie would love that. And it's got everything. It's even got the stuffing in there. I'm going to have so much fun. I have seen a couple that I want to make. A little embroidery hoop. Oh, there's another one I've just dropped. I'll show you that one too. This felt one. Oh, I'm really excited about these. I'm going to have a good look through and see what I can find. I love this one crafting is good for the soul it really really is i don't know about you but when i'm crafting or when i've crafted i just feel so much happier and it's got a pom-pom on it as well i'm having so much fun right let's see what's in this one i don't even know what month it was this oh i think i opened one like this already i must have had a duplicate or maybe it's a similar one um i'm not fussed with the ones with oh i'd love to nip so that jumpsuit though that's so cute these are sewing patterns and this one is issue 104 i don't even know when that was no idea let's see what this one is oh this one's a cute one i wonder if this is a recent one there's a recipe in this one as well and oh that looks nice that one there this is issue 90 so this must be a really old one then maybe this one's from last year let's see what this one is Oh, it's the same one again. Why have I got two? I've got two now, identical. I'm going to keep three, but I want to do. Uh, I don't think Millie will obviously do the crochet or the patterns or anything, but I'm going to send her the little bear. I think she can do that one. With everything going on right now, are you finding that you're decluttering and going through things more? And let me know if you've found something that you've forgotten you had. I also picked up these paper dolls. Um, I was going to do a game with them at Christmas time and I never got around to it. There's 20 in a pack, so Millie can have those. And I'd already bought, before this happened, I bought, um, I'm always storing things away to give my sister when I see her. And I think she will love the warm cinnamon of Flora. So I'll wrap that up and give that to her. And I need to find some sweets and some chocolate, I think. And I will stick that in the box as well. So my nephew's got some bits as well. Got all my orders packed up and i'm going to head out to the post office it's tuesday and i haven't actually left our little roads since the last post office drop which was friday so um i do actually like being at home and i have to say i like not having to venture out so like now i really can't be bothered but i need to get my post done and i'm glad that i'm only doing it three times a week it's a little convenience store as well and I'm going to grab a couple of other bits while I'm there. I want to get some more tin tomatoes as we're really getting through them. 
and I think Aid's mum needs some milk. So we'll grab that there as well. Post has been dropped off and it was lovely and quiet. I was the only one in there and I picked up an onion and some tin tomatoes and now we're heading back to work. I've just had a surprise delivery. I'm really, really shocked. Claire, thank you. Lovely Claire, who I've met through Lollipop, who's become a really good friend, has sent me the loveliest birthday gift. Look at this mug. That is so, so cute. Made in Portugal. Look at those little ducks. I love that colour as well. That's my favourite colour and it's a really good chunky mug. I love a chunky mug. Really cute. And she said that she'd been looking for my favourite candle. She couldn't find it. Can't seem to find it anywhere. This is obviously before all the um, stuff that's going on at the moment. Have you noticed I can't say the actual words? <laughs> Seem to scoot around it all the time but she reckons this one is similar that's so lovely oliver blake green leaves i love a fresh candle in my studio that's a really nice chunky glass as well i would try and clean that off afterwards to use it i love that so much she said she was looking for my candle she's so sweet thank you very 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 much that box is really nice as well i can see a cat going past <laughs> This is not our cat. We don't have a cat. Um, I am actually saving things. I'm thinking of doing an upcycling video. Lots and lots of packaging that we'd usually throw away and turning them into fun projects. So I'm going to pop this on my upcycle pile. Let me know if you like the sound of that video. I think it will be a fun one. And start saving your packaging and you can do some upcycling with me. Um, it's half two. I haven't eaten yet. I had a banana earlier on. That's all I've had today. So I've just whacked some stale bread in the toaster to make some toast. I like my toast cold. I know that's really odd. But I'm going to have some toast, some cream cheese and edit tomorrow's video. So I've just been filming the next part of my workshop here and whilst this is drying I'm going to work in the lounge. I found some dodgy um, Channel 5 movie to watch and I'm going to set up here. That's something I love about my job actually. Um, it's never boring. There's always lots of different things to do. I think I mentioned the other day that I really really want these kits to feel really handmade that they've loads of love has gone into them extra extra more or oh, extra extra special this month. So I'm wanted to make these little flower pouches. I've got them, or some of them laid out. I'll show you. And then Aid's actually punched all these um, pink flowers. He's in the middle of punching them at the moment, actually, whilst he's in a meeting. And I am laying them all out, adding the flower, and then I'm gonna start pressing some paint into them as well. And now I'm wanting to add a little bit of extra color. I've got some pink paint and some green paint and I'm just gently dipping my finger in and pressing onto the top of each one. So I've got a little bit of pink and a little bit of green. I love a bit of finger painting. And then I printed and cut all of these down yesterday, the Seek Beauty Every Day. And I'm going and sticking each one on individually, slightly just overlapping the flower. So each one is slightly different and very handmade. I've done all of these and I'm going to do another load. I'm really excited. I'm getting to use my new Mickey Le Creuset pot for the first time. And I'm going to try out a recipe. It's an Italian sausage soup recipe. However, I'm not using Italian sausage. I'm just using normal Waitrose own sausages. Um, I think I just get to squeeze it out the meat and use it like that. I don't know. It's a Pinterest recipe. I'll link it down below. And as usual, I will be improvising and adapting the recipe because I'm really rubbish at sticking to recipes. Aid's taken Louis to work and he's about to do his parents shopping as well. And hopefully that's all the shopping then done until next Tuesday. I think we're going to try and keep Tuesdays as the shopping day. All right, so here we go. I'm about to put the hob on. The Le, new Le Creuset dish is being used for the very first time. It's very exciting. So I've got onion and a very large garlic clove in there with a tiny bit of oil. And then, like I said, I'm just going to use Waitrose own sausages, to be honest, and squeeze them out the skin. And that's going to brown off as well. And I did pour myself a cheeky glass of rosé. I don't know what's going on at the moment. We very, very rarely drink. And suddenly, since all this is going on, 
we're having a drink every single night and it's not because we feel stressed or anything i think it's because we're not getting the car out and life has just really really simplified which is crazy because i say it all the time like work hasn't changed for us we're still working from home but we both feel in some strange way more relaxed which is crazy i don't know why for me I've realised I don't like leaving the house. I knew that anyway, but it's really, really highlighted to me how much happier I am when I'm just at home and I don't have to go out. Um, even like today, going to the post office, I've had felt a bit of anxiety today and there's nothing to do with what's going on. I like being at home, which again is crazy because I love our trips and planning our trips away. But every day I like being at home and I think I'm happiest when I don't need to leave the house. And that means I can have a glass of wine. It looks so disgusting. It was a two-handed job, squeezing out the sausage meat, which is why I didn't get it on camera. That's what I'm left with, those lovely sausage skins. It looks so gross. Um, and I'm just gonna bash this down. Bash down the sausage and um, brown off all the meat. And I've got the other sausages. I've only got four here. I've got the others under the grill as I'm just going to do a plain sausage pasta for Louis when he comes home for dinner tonight. I didn't think it was going to work. I thought I was going to end up with lumpy bits of sausage, but actually it's crumbled nicely and I've proved myself to be an excellent sausage basher. So who knew? I never knew I had that skill. Right, I've chopped up celery, carrots. I've added chicken stock um one of the little um gnaw pots instead of the beef that's recommended um what else have i done i've added courgettes which i don't think are in the recipe but Abe really likes them and i had half a courgette that needs using up i've decided to leave out the potato that's in the recipe i personally don't think it needs it as i've got also on the go what else do i need to do um i added my pepper and now i'm going to add seasonings italian basil and salt and pepper that already tastes really really good i haven't measured anything it's all just eyeballed um but it's looking good it says to bring it to the boil turn it down stick on the lid and leave it for about 25 minutes and then i add the also at the end i am very very excited it smells and tastes really good already aid's come in from waitrose he's done his parents shopping were they happy with their shopping yes, they were. yes very much so. good go on then aid's got, got a yellow, yellow sticker, sticker. was 5.99 yeah guess what price two pounds fifty 49p. 49p! Yeah. Well done you! It's 250 grams of lamb steak. Well, I thought we can oh, just okay. do that, have a yeah. bit of rice with it or something. Yeah, yeah, we could do actually. Yeah. And then you got us a cauliflower. I didn't, hadn't realised I'd run out of cauliflower. And some blue milk. Spring onions. Got a top up orange juice because we're having tequila sunrise. Oh, that sounds nice. A couple of bananas because I thought we're not going to have a few yeah. days. I'm okay, yeah, we've got some already. Uh, courgette. Excellent. Yeah, I've just about used the last of that one. You love your baby bells at the moment, yeah, don't nice you? Sort of Is that our shopping? Yeah. Yay! Thank you very much. Yes. That's my Italian sausage, although it's not an Italian sausage, also soup, and it's so good. We've just tried a little bit. I can't wait to tuck in. I've popped a little bit of parsley on top. That meal is one of the best things I've eaten uh, for the last few days. It's so, so good. I'd highly recommend it. And I love that you can just tweak it. Obviously, if you're veggie or vegan, just crumble up some vegan or veggie sausages instead. Um, we've been out for our dog walk. Ada's gone to pick up Louis for work. And now I'm making Louis dinner. It just seems to be constant. And he just doesn't seem to like anything that we like anymore. It gets so frustrating. Good morning, I am going to be finishing this vlog. It is now Wednesday the 1st of April. Oh, I just realised it's April Fool's Day. Um, I got up early today, I was working on the new kit, which I will show you in a moment, but I've just fit, um, taken a break, gone and had a shower, um, done my curls. I haven't been doing my curls properly lately, I've just been kind of throwing my hair up. And I've been playing with my sourdough starter, as you do on a Wednesday morning. Um, it's not going so well, I don't think. Um, but I'm going to be doing a separate video all about the sourdough starter. I will give you a little look at the kit. This is how I lay it out to take my cute little photos. So then you can kind of see all the bits and pieces. I'm not showing everything. I've got things hidden in bags. But that is the April Secret Garden Kit. 
I'm very excited about this kit. I am doing so much for it. I've got some projects to make today, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to be doing a homeschool session with Millie today as well, my little niece, um, over video chat. So I've got loads going on, but I'm gonna finish this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you are enjoying the vlogs. I hope they're not too boring or too samey. Um, let me know and um, I hope you're doing well. Hope everything's fine with you and your family. Sending you lots of love and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.